Hey, YouTube. I'm going to tell you why you feel like you're not getting anywhere. I'm going to tell you why you feel like you're not blessed. I'm going to tell you why you're living in fear, most of you. I'm going to tell you why things just don't seem to be going well for you. And I'm going to give you some examples. What we have here on the screen is a video uh, that I did quite a while back on this Wrap the News Guy Busted. And for the last uh, several mornings, I've been getting up and I've been getting this hate mail from his followers, his cult followers. <clears throat> and I got one this morning. It says, uh, he blocked you because you're a waste of his time. Now, I understand. Let me give you some quick background. Wrap the News says that the bulk of the New Testament is fake and false. He says that Jesus is not Messiah and, he, and it's fake. He says the Apostle Paul is fake. Yet, Rap the News turns right around and quotes him all the time. I don't even know if he understands that he's quoting the Apostle Paul. Anyway, this uh, real quick, this video, uh, this lady says, He blocked you because you're a waste of his time. And I said, no, it's more like he's afraid of me. As I see through his evil agenda and his blind followers can't, Rap is leading people to hell. Now have a nice day. I quote, John 10, 25, 30, King James. It says, Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they, hear, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my Father's sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them to me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Okay? Now this is... Jesus Christ himself talking and rap the news is total deny, totally denying him. Now, if you do a, a little simple research, I mean, he says that, that Christ doesn't show up anywhere in the Old Testament. Nowhere in the Old Testament. This guy's an Old Testament Bible thumper. Okay? And, and those of us that have studied the Word and hidden the Word in our heart like the Scripture says to do, uh, know Isaiah 53. And um, it says here, uh, a couple different translations, but it says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our inequities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us to peace. And with his wounds we are healed. Now, here's a Brian study Bible. Surely he took on our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, struck down and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. He was punished that brought us peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. We are all like sheep have gone astray. Each one have turned his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So, you know, that bus, it gets back to what I said, that bus rap, you know, right, right there, because he doesn't even know his own Old Testament, which he cherishes. Then he turns around and he makes this mocking video. Now, this is going to demonstrate that this guy is like demon-possessed, all right? You have to bear with me. It's going to take a couple minutes, but I think it's going to be worth your time. Check it out. But I want to cover something with you. I want to issue a stern warning uh, against this guy, but it goes by the name of Rapid News. He's on many channels, and he keeps going back and making more and more and more. And he's getting more and more racist as uh, every single day goes on. So he, he just he did a video here not long ago saying that uh, you know the Apostle Paul and Christians uh, have grafted uh, their gods into the Bible, and um,
Okay, real quick, what he's talking about here is the is the the zeitgeist. Peter Joseph did this, and I, I wrote him and told him all about this. Of course, he's blocked me from his channel. He's removed my comments. So he's hiding the truth. He doesn't want honest debate, and he's dragging up all this material that's just totally fiction and, and been debunked many, many times. Um, I'm trying to remember the guy that did this, uh, Chris something. He goes, it has a channel verse by verse, something. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the notes or something. But but without going too much further, let's get back into this. Anyway, he talks about um, the zeitgeist, and again how it's all been debunked. He says, unfortunately, your race is not human at all. Do you believe that? The white race is not human at all, according to this guy. Okay, I just remember the name of the guy that, that, that totally debunked uh, Zeitgeist. His name is Chris White. You can find him on YouTube. Chris White. But did, did you hear that? He just said the, hum, the, the white race is not human. <laughs> the guy is flipped. I mean, he's, he's totally out there. He says, you are the serpent, see, and there's no way of escaping who you are. You are wrong, and we are very different than you. There he goes, there's that separate seed doctrine that they use to divide, 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 divide. Jonathan Cleck does that. Billy Hobbs does that. It's all about division. It's all about we're better than somebody else. But remember, Jesus' prayer that we all become one as he is one with the Father. That's Jesus' prayer, okay? So let's do what the Lord wants us to do, not listen to these false teachers. But go on. This is going to get good here in just a second. Uh, your job is to destroy. By the way, good job. As we were all made from one blood, as is written, you think you have salvation in keeping the law, which no man can keep 100%, though indeed we should try. Scripture says the law never saved anyone. So see, he says I'm boring because I'm, I'm, I'm quoting Scripture. I'm boring. Yeah, it's okay for him to quote Scripture. Or cherry pick scripture, you know that, that he he needs to use a Bible. Well, they need to come out with a new Bible and call it the Cherry Pickers Bible, because that's what these cult members, that's what these false teachers use, all of them. Okay, they they take the verses that they want, and they throw out the ones that don't apply to their agenda. Continuing, one can't even have a decent exchange with you because you simply will not recognize major parts of the written word. It's hopeless. Now he's cussing. Right. I hate the <laughs> okay, you get it? The guy has totally lost his mind. Um, anyway, and beyond that, he's got this in his logo. What's in his logo? Big Wolf. Okay? I mean, it's so in your face who this guy serves. I, I don't know how much more clear it can get. Yet, all these haters, all these racist haters, all these people that think they're the elect or the elite, you know, and the white man is the devil and the, the white man is the demon and the white man is this and the white man is that, they flock to him just like flies on poop. There you go. I, that's all I can say. And they, you know, I, I, My job is to expose these guys, and that's what I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Share it, will you? Share it. Push a couple of buttons. Get the word out. If you're not going to fight the good fight, support those that will. Please. You're going to be held accountable. Please help get the word out. Spread the truth. Thank you. Love you. Mean it.
Thank <laughs> you.